It's a brand new day, a brand new week, and a brand new life. Thanks be to God. Hi, my name is Brother Pio, and welcome to Repeal Lectures. Today, let's visit the oldest bridge here in Australia, in Richmond, Tasmania. In a world that is so enamored with the latest, the youngest, and the newest, it is refreshing to appreciate the old, tenured, and age. Here in Tasmania, the town of Richmond prides itself of not only having the oldest stone bridge in Australia, but also the oldest functioning Catholic church down under. Talking about old, did you know that if you write my name, Pio, flip it and turn it upside down, it will read as old? <laughs> well, that reminds me I'm getting old. Yes, I've recently turned 40 years old, but guess what? I still feel like I'm 20. <laughs> but as I turned 40, I looked back at my life and realized how beautiful it is. Not because it's perfect. No, no. I've made several crazy mistakes. But what made it beautiful is that although I'm imperfect, although I am flawed, although I'm unfaithful, God was always faithful. He was always there, ready to love me, waiting for me to come back to His embrace. And that is why I'm here where I am now. Friends, I pray that for the rest of my life, I will proclaim of His glory, of that love, of His mercy. Talking about old, I remember the story in Japan wherein their leader was so afraid of getting old that he doesn't want to be reminded of it. So he made a decree declaring that all of the old people in that town should be killed. Now one farmer who lives at the bottom of the mountain had an old mother and he was so afraid, he was so scared of this leader. But then he also loved his mother so he thought of a lesser painful way of killing her. So after work, he prepared some food and started carrying his weak mother to the top of the mountain. But as they walked there, they got lost. But he was unfazed, so he kept walking up the mountain. Then he realized that for some time now, his mother was breaking these branches, putting down some twigs, one at a time. And when they got to the top of the mountain, he asked them, Mother, what are you doing? And the mother said, Well, I don't want you to get lost. So just follow those twigs that I've broken for you. And this made the farmer cry. And he said, Mother, I, I, I can't leave you here. No, let's die together if I should die. So he brought his mother back home, hid her. One day, the same leader ask another crazy request from the village. He asked them to create a whip made of ashes. And everybody went God on how they will do it. And so the farmer told his mother of their problem. And the old woman told them, you should twist some straws and put it on top of a stone and then burn it in a windless night. And voila, they were able to create that whip made of ashes. Now the leader was so amazed that he praised this young farmer. And then he asked him, where did you get your wisdom from? And he told him, I cannot lie anymore. I got it from my mother who I hid. And from the time on, the leader declared that they will not kill the old people anymore. For he realized that with a crowd of snow comes wisdom. My friend, if you want to refresh your life every morning, take that which is old. I'm talking about the Word of God. Yes, the Bible may have been written thousands of years ago, but guess what? God's love and message is new every morning. So I encourage you, read the Bible, reflect on it every day, and be refreshed 
by His love and His mercy. Can we pray together? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, we praise and thank you for giving us the years of our lives. Lord, may you bless us each day, refresh us with your word, with your love and your mercy, so that we can continue to proclaim your goodness. All this we pray in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this Monday. I pray that you will have a week full of wisdom and love. Take care and see you on the next Repulections. Thank you.